six. Are you available? Copy. 240 negative? Sorry. False alarm on that code red near Magnolia. Try that crumpet shop off Post Alley. Thanks, 303. Copy. Dispatch, I need to run a license check on that 10th. Officer Matthews, I've got a 1010 in progress. 1452 Lewis Avenue. I'm gonna need backup. Copy that. All backup available. Didn't do anything. It's gonna be all right. Okay, update time. You heard back from Jen yet? Um, no. I'm sure she'll reply at some point. Let me take a look at the situation. Hey, Jen, you going to the party tonight? Dude, we talked about this. Could you have any less game? I'm no good at this. Ooh, how about... Yo, Jen, see you at the party. Let me know if I should bring handcuffs. <laughs> oh my god, you thirsty bitch. Here, let Lila the Love Witch work her magic. Okay, just don't make me sound like a loser. I said matchmaker, not miracle worker. Hey, hold on. Let me check it before you send. Too late. Would be awesome to see you there? What? I could have texted that. It's a good start. She'll text back, you'll see. You know, I don't even know if I want to go tonight. Oh, please. It's gonna be fun. You hate every party. Oh, because they're all the same. Too many people, too fucking loud, everybody's wasted. Yes, Sean, you just described a party. Well, the suspense is killing me. It's Dad. He wants to know if I'm coming home after school. <sighs> Jeez, I'm not a 10-year-old. He just cares about you, Sean. Anyway, you should be happy your dad's looking out for you. Oh, it's Jen saying she can't wait to see us at the party. What? Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Told you I would work my matchmaker magic. Hmm. So, so what should I wear tonight? A condom. Oh, ha ha. Paying plenty of attention in sex ed class, I see. Hey, lovebirds. Back from the loony bin? Shut the fuck up, dickhead. Damn, your neighbor's an asshole. Yep. Always true to himself.
Man, we need to find a couch for your yard one day. <sighs> Ooh, careful. Last time my dad almost busted me out here. Because you were alone? Your dad wouldn't bust me. He loves me. So, you want to hit or not? Yeah, okay. It's Friday. Thanks for making me smoke again. Oh, then I'll make sure you don't smoke any weed tonight. Deal? <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Can't wait to see you baked as hell trying to pull this off. <sighs> Speaking of weed, I got that covered tonight. What else do we need? Eric said his parents don't leave shit at the cabin, so we better make an official party list. Hey, whoa, what the hell are you doing? Move, you're my human post-it note. First, we need money for supplies, munchies, chips and dip, soda, etc. Uh, this better wash off. And of course, we must not forget the booze. I can probably snag a six-pack from Dad if he's got enough. Hey, did you ever think of maybe just sending a text instead? Hmm. All right, blankets. It's gonna get so chilly tonight. You and Jen are gonna need something to snuggle under. Oh, one last thing. C O N D O. Oh, stop! You're out of room, punk. Whoa, good drawing, Lila. Daniel's teacher would be proud of you. Ha! The pretentious artist has spoken. Don't fall asleep before me tonight, or you might see more of my skills. <laughs> you wish. Ugh, these fucking planes, man. I want to hate them, but I'll miss them so much if I move somewhere else. Shit changes so fast. I get so emo sometimes, wondering what will happen to us once we graduate. Will you still be my BFF? Will shit ever get better than 1452 Lame Avenue? Yeah, man. Friends forever. Yeah, but what happens if we go to different colleges? Or you get sick of me? Whatever. Uh, you heard of the internet? <laughs> no way distance can tear us apart. We're freaking fighters. Yeah, you're right. Best freaking fighters forever. Okay, it's getting way late and I gotta pick out my outfit for tonight. Skype me later when you're ready. Hugs. Talk to you soon. Hello, Friday night. Hey, perfect timing. Just the sun I wanted to see. Oh, sure. But I'm a little busy. Did you see Lila? She said we can go to the movies next week. She said- Dude, bug her, not me. You're not exactly her type. You're lucky she puts up with you. Ugh, jeez. Thanks, Pop. I feel really supported right now. You're welcome. And now we need an objective judge. That would be you. <sighs> really? Hey! No fair. Court is in session. Judge Diaz presiding over the case of the last Choco Crisp. I... I have to go, uh, get ready for a party and stuff. So... Well, if you want to attend to a party and stuff, you have to earn it, Your Honor. Oh, shit. Hey, he swore. Yes, I heard Tattletail. Mm. Please, Judge Diaz. 
Be an example to the court and society. Then you can go hook up or chill or whatever. Now, who deserves to eat this final choco crisp? Your adorable little brother who eats about 10 bags a week or your poor suffering father who slaves over a hot engine to provide his family with a home and a garage? Me, me, me. Come on, Judge. Shh, 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 shh. Let him decide. Judge, the verdict, please. Daniel was guilty of being a brat, so the Choco Crisp goes to Senor Diaz. What? No way. You're a cheat. <laughs> nope. I'm the law. Your Honor, I can't let you punish an innocent man. So? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I always knew you'd confess. Okay, back to work. I hear an engine calling my name. And you better play nice together, like you always do. I have to go to work in my room, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Don't hurry back. Okay, let's get this party list started. Better pack for the party. It's nice going jogging with Dad every once in a while. Though he's way too chatty. What if Jen came over? Mm, we can build a fire and... I could just stay home and binge Top Gear with Dad and Daniel, but... Not tonight. I don't know who plays more. Daniel or Dad. Daniel spends hundreds of hours yelling into the mic playing Minecraft with Noah. Geez, how old is this? We've had it since I was 10. Man, is there any more boring sport than baseball? <laughs> but can't wait for the rain. Makes me feel like drawing. Every Christmas, Dad wants to watch the Lord of the Rings trilogy with us. That's cool. Do not enter. Ever. Trust me, Dad. I won't. At least I don't have to help Daniel out with math. Thanks, Dad. Damn. The guy never stops working. He was so proud to get that. He should be. I need to take care of that party list. Man, I so don't want to work this weekend. Sorry, Lila. I'm just not a selfies kind of guy. Sorry, Lila. I'm just not a selfies kind of guy. Sorry, Lila. I'm just not a selfies kind of guy. Sorry, Lila. I'm just not a selfies kind of guy. Damn. I still have like 10 books left in the series. I won't finish until I'm 20. I 
I think I know what to ask for Christmas. Lila will survive if I take five to practice my drawing. I should take a good look at the subject before drawing. That would be sick to just go tag the world. That would cut my arm off if I got a tat like that. But when I turn 18... I really like that one. <laughs> I don't totally suck. Couldn't live without this shit. How many times have I watched it? Not enough. This was such a cool day. Can't wait to go back out there with the crew. We almost got caught by a crazy old dude, but it was such a blast. Well, it's not my turn to do the laundry. Daniel better not use my toothbrush again. Will Dad actually take us there one day? Doubt it. All right, Dad. Where do you put the blankets? Can't see shit in here. I should switch the light on. How long is he gonna keep all this shit? Daniel destroyed our old nativity scene. Sorry, baby Jesus. Thank God I don't have to take one of Daniel's. I'm sure Dad won't miss one blanket for the night. Dad should just sell that other bike. That you, Sean? Yeah. Yeah. Don't get too excited, kid. You're making me nervous. Hey, since you're creeping around up there, can you pass me the wrench in the top red drawer over there? Sure. Can't. Um, there's no wrench here. Ah, shoot. Must be somewhere else then. Take a look around. I know I left it nearby. It's a 16 millimeter reversible flex wrench. Jeez. That was definitely my plan for tonight. So, yeah. Hold on. Sam came by the garage today. Told me to tell you hi for him. How's this leg? Well, you know, old fossils like us don't heal the way you do. Uh, hey, I got it. I think. Nah. I need one with the black switch on it so I can change its direction. Hey, did you get your English midterm back? Uh, yeah. I got a B. A B? But you were so confident about the essay you wrote. 
Yeah, I think Mrs. Calloway's just prejudiced against Vonnegut. But Slaughterhouse-Five is amazing. Hey, you don't gotta tell me. Tell her. Next parent- Is that it? Yes! This is it. Took your time about it, but you did it. I'll make a grease monkey out of you. Yeah, yeah. All right, just let me tighten this. So, finally decided to come and join your old man under the hood, huh? <laughs> yeah, um, sure. I know it's not your thing, but you gotta learn a trade. Art, athletics, engineering, I don't care. As long as you put your heart into it. You always say that, but for what? <laughs> so you deadbeats can take care of me when I retire. <laughs> You'll never retire. Someday, then maybe back to Mexico. Back to Puerto Lobos. Oh, I've heard this one before. Mm. I don't even know why I'm fixing you a sweet car for graduation. Well, you don't have to. I mean, it's cool. Are you sure you're my son? You don't want to visit Mexico. Don't want to have a car. I can't even get you into Rush or Santana. Are you going to ride the bus for all your dates? Like I'm going on tons of dates. Not when Daniel's cock-blocking me the whole time. He's nine. He doesn't even know what cock-blocking is. He looks up to you, Sean. Try and help him. It's what family is for. Things are kind of scary out there in this country right now. Yeah. Oh, um, by the way. Ha, I was wondering how long it'd take. You need money for the party tonight, right? <sighs> ah, 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 shh. Just be honest with me. No bullshit. Are you using this money to buy alcohol? Weed? Um, I mean, yeah, probably. But we'll be partying at a house and nobody's driving home. I swear. Well, everybody's got to get home somehow. But yeah, you and Lila better not get in any car with somebody who can't walk straight. Holy shit, 40 bucks? Really? Yeah, why not? You did a good job on the lawn. Plus, I appreciate that you didn't lie to me. Thanks, Dad. Just be careful. That's all I'm asking for, okay? I know what kind of crazy shit kids can get into. <sighs> Don't worry. We got smartphones and stuff. We can call a ride if we need it. And I can always text you. I try not to. Or, you know, you could have sent my friend request on Facebook so I could keep an eye oh, on... Oh, my God. Okay. I have to go. Thanks, hey, Dad. Hey, hey, Not so fast, Shawnee boy. Don't you think your papito deserves a hug? Ugh. Okay. Have fun. But not too much. I won't. Promise. Bye. Love ya. I love you too, hijo. Dad's a pain in the ass sometimes. But he's awesome. I would be fucked if I had to help Dad in the shop. Lila's so hyped up for tonight. Better hurry. Uh, uh, yeah. I tried to read that. Snooze. Dad loves all that political crap.
definitely going to need major snacks for the party. Ted doesn't drink that much. Does he keep track? That'll do. Bet there's gonna be a keg at the cabin. Don't forget the non-booze. Okay. Better take that instead. <laughs> Man. Daniel could live off this crap. Okay. Better take that instead. Cross that off the list. Drinks down, food to go. Yo, that secret recipe fucking rules, actually. Hope there's also, like, real food at this party. Looks like I got everything. Better pack it all up. What the? Is Dad... baking something? Meet the Diaz. Organization experts. 